how would the world change if women were in charge? I see this question from two perspectives. Firstly, if we were just to replace men with women leaders in the existing patriarchal society, very likely there will be very little difference. Any country has to be very safe for the women. If we see we, if women become in charge, first and foremost, the thing which has to be controlled is rape. I think women have a participative and uh, cooperative kind of leading style which is good for any democracy. Yeah. Will women in charge of the world eliminate violence against women? Women are already in charge. Uh, they have been in charge for a long time. We just need to have a closer look. I think at some level we are already in charge because we are capable of taking care of our kids as well as going out to work. I don't think so. I mean, most homes, the father is still the head and many women, even the educated households, they promote father as the ultimate voice. Women are actually running the show behind closed doors, are in control behind the scenes, be it at the home front, in both personal and professional capacities. Uh, are in charge, yes. In charge of what? What is going to be you know, made for dinner, where the groceries are going to come from, how the children have to be educated, and things like that, you know. I think if we have a woman leader, strong woman leader, uh, crime against women would be much lesser. Uh, as mothers, wives, sisters, daughters, friends, women make half the world. It is unlikely that our world has been governed solely on the fragile shoulders of men so far. That I mean, women would not understand. Oh, it's not their cup of tea. Oh, you would not understand the finance. You would not how things are run financially. Like it's often said that men create and women preserve it. I would say women preserve and help it prosper. Financial matters are, you know, men's cup of tea, and women are just, you know, just backside, just pushing or supporting. I mean, they call it. Oh, this is there the support system. I don't know how exactly that works. I mean, not to the... Instinctively, we want to say, yes, put us women in charge. Watch us stop that. We're going to hang all these rapists. We're going to burn these guys down. But the truth is, that's not always how it happens. I guess world would be very different, women ruling it. I think politically, it would be more calm. No, guys, sorry, this is not true. In uh, communities, it would be more communicative. When you have power, you, you are not the same person. And I think in business, they would be more productive, more progressive. If whatever strategically decision would be needed, you would make those decisions. We are affectionate, we are sympathetic towards one another and that probably would bring a big change. Empathy, sympathy and maintaining a balance. At the end of the day, you need to have the leadership qualities exactly. more than your gender qualities. So, the idea is that if both men and women work together, uh, give respect to each other, equality is the way forward. Thank you. Can women create that balance or we need both genders to be there to create that balance? And um, I strongly believe in women empowerment. The only thing we need to do today is all women to support each other. Women being in charge will create more peaceful, empathetic and kinder work. Okay? Maybe, maybe not. I enjoy working with men. We're not saying get rid of men altogether in the workforce. We're saying put them in the junior position. <laughs> Are, I mean, and a balanced environment will always have men, women, drama, politics. Everything. All these are great points. So we don't want to get rid of men. We don't want only women leaders. We want a balance of power. That's what we can all, men, women, and others, can make this world a happier, more peaceful, and now, very important, cleaner place to live. That's all on talk this today. But we look forward to hearing from you all. Please, uh, you can email us at hello at doctorstoday.com or you can comment in the comments of today. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to stay notified of our new videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Thank you for joining us on Talk To Us Today. Remember to talk about Talk To Us Today. Yes. Keep smiling, keep, keep laughing, laughing, and keep talking. Yeah. Bye. Thank you guys. See you guys next Friday.